Rad here, Buzz TV. We're at Club Nokia. Got something really, really fun. We got to see Nick Kai. We're here with Sin from Ministry, but the best thing is we found Nick Kai. We saw your set earlier. Smoke an unbelievable set. First thing, hey guys, how you doing tonight? Good, uh, how are awesome. You? How are you? Great. Now the first question I ask is, Sin, how did you get hooked up with Nick to begin with? Uh, I met him uh, two years ago at the Golden Gods Awards. Uh, I just got on the carpet and I looked to my right and I saw like a little mini me. And um, we just started talking and he was telling me he was a guitar player and uh, that was it. We just became friends and um, started, you know, jamming together and uh, playing together a little bit. And that was it. Two years ago, here we are at uh, Nokia where we met really and, um, you know, up on stage together. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah. that's the amazing thing. And Nick, We've done our homework a little bit and see that, you know, we're just amazed that the player you are at the age that you are, which just blows us away. Thank but you. But we have a new, we hear you guys are working on an album and a new product. Yeah, we're doing, a, uh, we're working on our uh, songs and stuff right now for the record. And with songwriting and stuff, is this something that comes easily to you? Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. And it's, what do you follow? Like myself as a guitar player. <laughs> There's times I'm just playing and I fall into a riff or a chop and it goes from there. There's other times, you know, I might have an inspiration pretty much with you or is there like a different formula you follow? Um, well, because I listen to like Event Sevenfold, Bullet My Valentine and like uh, some Japanese bands, um, I, when I write, I usually write similar to that because I listen to it so much. Perfect. And with you and Sid, are you guys sharing the writing on this, or is uh... yeah, no, definitely. I mean, I, I definitely want you know him to to express himself, um, you know, in his style and what he likes. And I'm just trying to sort of you know craft it and hone it in a little bit more, and um, you know, basically bring out um, his own style. Um, but I definitely want to collaborate with him. I don't want to just write stuff for him. I want it to be, I want it to come from him. And we just kind of work together and mold it into something really cool. Well, I can't wait you to know? hear it too. Yeah. Again, what we see from you, it's just vicious. And then when you start working with players, God, this could really be amazing. <laughs> so let me ask you, what got you into playing and getting this far so fast? Like, how did I start? Pretty much. <laughs> um, well... I got a guitar for Christmas, and then that was fun. <laughs> and I'm assuming you're one of those guys that locks himself in a room and plays? Uh, yes and no. Like, when I was writing, uh, I we would turn off all the lights and put candles up, and that's it. We would just write together. Oh, very cool. So now, what plans, you know, we see you're, you know, you're working with Sid, and you also have your own band, Chemical Kill. Yep. What's going on with that project? Uh, well, we, we had this plan for a while, so we did this, and then hopefully we'll just keep going. <laughs> now, mind you, it's Tuesday night, it's May 14th. We hear you're off to Vegas to do something tomorrow. Yep, uh, I'll be on Fox News 10, uh, the morning show, and there's a segment uh, called The Rising Star, and I'll be on it. Okay, so remember, Google the Fox 5 station. You'll find it on something there. By the time we air this, obviously Wednesday is going to pass. But it's something you really got to see. The guy's amazing. So one more quick thing. Yeah. What, where could we see Nick Kai? If people are out there, they're going to see this interview. They're going to find stuff on you. They're going to go, oh my God, where could I watch this guy play next? Uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, just Google in general, Instagram. Now, live dates, do we have any, you know, something live in the works? Anything planned? Um, we're still working on that right now. And is there any chance that this project you guys are working on together might uh, do some tour dates or shows? Sure, dates? absolutely. Yeah, definitely in the future. I mean, I'd love to do more shows, live shows with Nick. So, I mean, that's definitely a, a very strong possibility for the future. And is there a name for this project yet? It's all Nick. It's all, all Nick all the time. All, all Nick like, all the time, huh? And I assume that's going to be a website one day. All right. Nick all the time. Yeah, don't steal that. <laughs> that's, well, it's okay. We're going to go Wait, spend a... Well, we'll spend a buck before this is over and own that for you. <laughs> Sponsorships. Do you have any? Who are you with? Uh, I am with uh, Gibson, Marshall, Coffin Case, Monster, uh, EMG Pickups, and more. Yeah, we did see Johnny Coffin around somewhere. I don't know if he's here, but we'll try to catch up with him. Something else. Sharing a dressing room with Anvil tonight. That must have been fun just dealing with <laughs> the legends that they are Anvil. Oh, of course. You know, as I said, just... 
that must have been, been amazing. Yeah. So other than this, you're doing stuff with Sin and your band Chemical Kill. Anything else we need to know, or you know, are we just going to do some homework and let the world find out about that? Google, Google, Nick <laughs> Kai, Nick Kai. There's a link right down here. It's not going to be hard to find. You hit it. You read up on this guy. Watch some more video. You'll be like us. After you pick up your jaw, it's going to be wow. <laughs> then you might not want to play for a little bit, but hey, you'll get past that too. Be Rad Buzz TV. We're with Nick Kai. We're with Sin from Ministry. See you guys. Thanks, Sin. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, See ya. Be Rad here, Buzz TV. How did we get so lucky? Nick Kai. We're with Chemical Kill. We're some other friends that do some side projects with them. So first, we're going to go around the horn, introduce everyone to you, and then get into some fun questions. I'm Juice, I play drums. I'm Stavill, I play guitar and Chemical Kill. Obviously, Nick <laughs> Kai. <laughs> Jeremy Valentine, singer of Chemical Kill. Eli James, friend. <laughs> uh -huh. And Eli does a lot of side work with Nick, so don't think he's, he's not anyone special. So Chemical Kill, we saw you guys tonight, tore this shit up, had Sin from Ministry on stage, sharing the dressing room with Anvil, Motorhead's ripping it up. Shit, guys. How are you guys doing? How was this tonight? It was, it was amazing. It was stoked. awesome. Super stoked. Very cool. And obviously, still a little worn out, but uh, Chemical Kill. Check out Chemical Kill. So I'm going to dive right into some stuff real fast. Songwriting. Who's the main force? Uh, me, him, and our bass player. And how does this work? Is it usually a lyric thing uh, that Nick will build around, or is he coming in with chops, or is there any kind of formula you guys stick with, or is it just things that happen? I mean, it's pretty much, yeah, Nick's coming up with some chops. We kind of work off that, you know, and together come up with, you know, vocally what we want to talk about, and then kind of go from there. Like. You know, just help, helping him, you know, I mean, he's young, he's learning the songwriting process, but he's really good at it. Uh, again, we've seen it and we're amazed. I'll tell you, here's the, here's the thing. I was talking to Nick and we were going back and forth and I asked this question. What advice would you give to an up and coming band or artist that's making their way? Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, I'll do it again because this his answer blew me away. I don't know if it'll be the same one, but we'll go with what advice would you give young and upcoming artists, someone that's like at the level ready to break out and go somewhere? Never stop. That's a cool answer. Something else he gave me, and this is what amazed me. When I was doing my homework, I learned about Nick, but I'm talking to him and I'm thinking I'm dealing with someone that's been in the business 20 plus years. I asked this guy a question and he replies with being humble. Um, I think something else was, you know, uh, it was never basically not letting your head get bigger than doorways and stuff. Remember where you came from, giving a helping hand and giving back. Again, it was one of those where I thought it's like, okay, I'm dealing with someone that's about 40 plus, been on top of the mountain, the mountain fell on them and they came through the other side. And then I see that you guys are just so fresh and it's something that we need in this industry so desperately bad is the young blood that's taken over and going to bring it to a right, right direction. Now, Chemical Kill, new product coming out anytime soon? Uh, merch, of course. Right? <laughs> but uh, CDs and stuff. Oh, yeah, we're still working on writing songs for the album and stuff. And um, basically, website, we're looking at chemicalkill.com. Uh, yeah, nickkai.com, uh, Chemical Kill. Facebook it. Google. Everything else, Google it. <laughs> now, here's another thing. How did you get hooked up with all, with Nick and everything? You know, we'll let you guys tell the fun story. Well, pretty much, I uh, did a, uh, played Dime Bash with him a couple years ago. We both performed at a uh, tribute to Dimebag Daryl. Right. The little kid was ripping. Uh, I kind of heard about him through a buddy of mine. Um, and I don't know, we just kind of, actually we didn't hit it off the first time. <laughs> and, uh, well, that's probably a fun story, all for another episode. Yeah, yeah. but it wasn't bad, no, it wasn't bad. But, uh, but then, yeah, uh, ultimately, somehow we just got somehow. super tight and uh, um, just, yeah, just started doing everything together. And, and then, like, Juice has been, um, you know, in other bands with me, so brought Juice in and... Uh, and then now when we go over to these guys over here, 
they met at Nam, and they can explain kind of how. Oh, cool! Because we definitely love Nam. It's a place we where we always go to. Yeah. Um, basically, we heard about Nick a year prior from a friend, and we were just wandering around Nam doing our business, you know. And he came up, and we basically got kidnapped, and that's the best way to do it. And like we we ran into them, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> And you went from there. Now, something else we also saw, and a friend of ours we found at NAM. You, you were playing with Ginny Luke tonight. Yes. How did you find this girl? Because, again, when we saw her, it was just an amazing, freaky thing. We bumped into her at the PV booth, decided, hey, let's check it out. And we're like, wow. Yeah, uh, Johnny Coffin uh, from Coffin Case, uh, he manages her as well. So he hooked us up together. And now we're doing some projects with her as well. Very, very good. Now, we see someone a little late to our little rendezvous, but I'm always late. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm Brandon. I'm the bass player. Very good. <laughs> well, no, that's all good, Brandon, because, like, I'm always late myself. Um, what are you doing with, what are you guys doing with Nick? Uh, anything, you know, besides the chemical kill stuff? Or are you just working on some solo stuff, playing around? Uh, that for you guys? Yeah. 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 Right. What was the question? <laughs> I don't know Other than the chemical kill yeah. stuff, are you guys working on anything in general? Are we just playing, you know, because I know you're working on that. I know Nick has some side projects. Are you guys working on any side stuff, or is this all just we're doing chemical kill? And As of right now, we're doing chemical kill. In the future, I have no idea, but right now, I'm well, with Nick. We love what we've seen, you know, and that's the thing. You guys have to Facebook chemical kill. You Google it. There's going to be links right down here. I really need you to hit them. Well, I don't need you. You need to. Because if you don't see this and learn about this, you're going to go, OK, I missed the wave. You never want to miss the wave on someone like this. Now, Chemical Kill, any endorsements, any sponsors for any of you guys? We know uh, Nick's hooked up with a few people. I hear Gibson, Marshall, obviously Coffin Case. Um, anyone else in the band? Uh, yeah, Anderberg Guitars, Monster Energy Drink. Yeah, just about m monster. Now, anyone you're looking to get that you don't have, because they always watch this too, and it's always fun to say, "Hey." Uh... Yeah, well, I I play pork pie kit, uh, drum kit, and those are my favorite. So, big shout out to pork pie. There you go. <laughs> and now on this half, guys, anything that you either have or don't have yet, hit hit hit. <laughs> I'm just the singer, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you know, let's see. The last sure, person, sure, sure you know microphone. The last uh, person I yeah. said that was a female lead vocalist that said Sennheiser, and her line was, wouldn't it look good right here? So, I don't know if you'd use that same tagline, but is there a specific mic brand you'd like to use more than others? Any recommendations, guys? Sure. Blue microphone. Blue. Blue. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah, well, I use a blue draw, a blue ball, and I think I have the, the, the red kick ball. Uh, you know? Yeah, so blue makes some great stuff. Guys? Yeah. Uh, it's, as a drummer, Sabian, uh, you know, uh, that'd be a great endorsement, yeah, for sure. Risen Drums, I ha I'm endorsed by uh, yeah, uh, D you D DW Pedals, you know? Well, I play Dean guitar, so I've always loved us. So pretty much just Dean. Well, you know, it's funny because we uh, did a thing with Dave oh, Dave Mustaine over at NAMM. Um, and uh, he's dealing with Dean now. What did I, what did I miss out? Because I'm good at leaving things out. Uh, I was just saying Epiphone. Epiphone. That's part of the Gibson family. Remember that. And they do make some quality stuff. You know, we, we actually, I think I do have a Gibson. Uh, no, in my Gibson. There might be an Epiphone. I know there's a bunch of Gibsons in our personal stuff. Prophecies the way to go. Really? Yeah, that's what I play. Then we're going to have to check that line out. Um, in fact, I'll be making a call over to our friends at Gibson. We hear you're going to be in the Gibson showroom, so I might try to beat you down there and say, hey, you know what Nick needs a few of around there? <clears throat> One needs to come home with him because they did that to a friend of a couple friends that just played there. So I know they're real good with that. Nick Kai, Chemical Kill. We had a ball. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Is that Johnny Coffin? Uh -oh. Come on in. Uh, look out. The Come on in. We want to say, hey, Johnny Coffin. Let's see. I'm going to give you five minutes. Or less than three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> well, the first thing, how did you guys get hooked up together? Because Nick is like with oh, everybody. <laughs> um, 
Uh, we, we met we met we met under the moon. That's right. It was a full <laughs> at moon. At someone's house. Right. At someone's house. Well, we are in the, in the hills, so yeah, he's, <laughs> he's a vampire. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, we met in a cave. In a cave? Actually, yeah. All right. Well, let's see. Last one. Uh, seriously, uh, he came by for an endorsement, and um, great guy. I already had a bunch of stuff going on, and I saw him play, and I said, "Coffin Kid." Definitely, and you know, it's, I mean, you have some great artists that you're you're with. We were talking earlier about how we met uh, Ginny Luke over at Nam. Yeah, amazed by her, great right. player. Tonight she was on stage with these guys, and right. of course showed her stuff too. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you a question: Anything new in the works? Something that we need to know about, or they need to know about? Ah, uh, yeah, we're going to be. We're just moving into a bigger location right now, so we're going to be doing a lot more production, you know, some video production. Very nice. Um, you'll see a lot more of that coming out, so that'll be something we can share with you. Did you guys ever think about uh, maybe shooting some stuff in 3D? We shoot in 3D, that's why we asked that question. Absolutely, we shoot with uh, Panasonic in 3D. Oh, that's very nice, yeah, because yeah. again, it's like, I love 3D. Yeah, yeah, we and do uh, a lot of 3D. We have concept cameras from them that we're actually shooting with right now. Oh, that's so. very hip, so we're giving another shout to Panasonic because we definitely love those guys. Yeah. And they're yeah, doing Susie some great Panasonic work. Panasonic is our, our, our gal. There you go, Susie. We'll, we'll be giving you a call too just to say thanks for what you're doing <laughs> with these guys. <laughs> Don't or at least, bother. Well, or at least, you know, we'll send her a copy of this so she can see that awesome. she's getting a very fun plug. Cool. You guys use Panasonic? Uh, no, we're now? using other stuff as well. We have a Panasonic in our big rig. Gotcha. We're using uh, a smaller other company for our smaller rig. What, and, what are you doing the 3D? Um, le no, we're using, let's see, the, that's the JVC that's okay. uh, shooting in 3D. We also have the smaller Sony rig that's both popping in a 60p and then we have the big Panasonic rig when we're trying to do something where right. we could actually have uh, tripods and wheels and yeah, yeah. motion and maybe a, a jib great yeah, yeah well let's see anything else we need to know because we got lucky and found you um you know what just check out the website obviously uh, coffincase.com and and all the information's there and Motorhead's playing right now. I don't know why we're sitting up here talking. That's it. Right? So you know what? We're, we're cutting this. B right here, Buzz TV. How did we get so lucky? Nick Kai. Holy shit, I'm sitting with Anvil? How did this shit happen? You turn around and someone else just jumps in. What's happening, mate? No, how are you guys doing? I'm doing all right. We had a great show. Oh, we saw it. It was incredible. That's it. And, and you met a great friend, a new friend of ours, That's but right. someone we're going to know for a while, Nick Kai. Amazing little shredder. That's what I'm saying. I'm what do you think of this kid set? Absolutely blew me away. Seeing, you know, somebody so young with so much talent and shredding like the big guns. You know, I, it, it reminds me of seeing a little Zach up there, you know, holding his ball up yeah. and just shredding. And he's got that finesse of a Randy Rhodes. I mean, it's like a lot of talent right here. We saw it. You guys see it. I'm telling you, this kid's going to be a household name soon enough, let alone a legend. I agree. A little hard work, <laughs> and I think uh, we're going to see a lot of you, Nick. And with a little luck, uh, might see you guys on the, you know, on the same bill somewhere down the road. Yeah, sure. Like, like, like tonight. Like, like tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely like tonight. Again, Nick Kai, Anvil, Motorhead. You're not going to see this one again. <laughs> Great so, yeah. real quick, what do we have uh, with Anvil? Anything new coming out in the works? Are we getting on a big, huge tour, or is well, this just a one-off? Um, we just finished um, Hope and Hell. Comes out in two weeks here in the States, and um, produced by Bob Marlett. And we're, we're set up, we just did a show on Saturday. We did a Sandy Relief Benefit, a Hurricane um, Relief Benefit with Twisted Sister, The Rods, and Raven. And that was on Saturday in New Jersey. Flew out here for the Motorhead show. And we're just waiting for our tour itinerary when the record gets released. Very cool. Two yeah. weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Link will be down here to Anvil stuff. You're not going to miss that. Sin, real quick. Have you played with Anvil? Have you done stuff with them in the past? No, I'm uh, lucky that uh, we got to do this gig tonight. I've been a big fan for many years. And they were awesome tonight. And it was, uh, it was an honor and a pleasure to you know, share the stage with them. You know, we're a big fan of Sins, and we're going to talk to him somewhere later to get into a lot of his personal stuff, um, some ministry stuff as well. We hear you got a new project in the works. We're definitely going to talk to you about that one. But tonight's about the one and only Nick Kai. Um, what can we say? We're going to run real quick because we had some fun with Nick, but how do we pass up sitting with these gentlemen on a couch? 
You're never going to get this again. We're probably not going to fall into something like this anytime soon. <laughs> but we appreciate everything. Hey, Anvil, Sin, Nick Kai. There's going to be links to everything. You guys missed a show. You should have somehow found a way to get to L.A. B-Rad, Buzz TV. Thank you, guys. We are out. Motorhead time. See ya.